So my beautiful people, I am back with another Elden Ring video and you guys know I like to keep on top and it's Rune Farms. And well today guys, I have a great method for those lower level players to come to this area, the also popular area and farm tons of runes quicker than they could before. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leave a like, it really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. So we all know if you have this sacred relic sword, uh, you've beat the game, you're high level, you can come here and do this and earn an absolute shed load of runes. One swipe, shed load. But not everybody can do this, that is the point. A lot of people are posting these videos expecting uh, the people watching that can come here and do this, they can't. The amount of people that are still coming here and shooting this bird, drawing them off the map because they just can't take out these guys on the hill or they can take them out it just takes them way too long to kill them let's say four or five shots per ad i mean that just isn't efficient enough so they're just using the bird for now to level up well guys there's a better way there's an easy way for you players if you are shooting that bird still to to farm these ads quicker than any other way i've seen posted um anywhere there's no two which ways about it so this area right here it holds a boss here called Mark. Mark. Don't know his name. Can't pronounce it. I'm useless. Whatever. But there's a cheese to kill him. You've probably seen a cheese if you haven't already. I posted actually, guys. I should have mentioned this earlier. I've posted an in-depth guide for new players to get to this area from the start of the game. From as soon as you get that mount, I've posted a guide where you'll get to about a level 90, 80 or 90 in the first 15 minutes of playing by doing three simple things you'll get gain a ton of levels then just cheesing a couple of bosses and then basically doing a mini quest and getting here so i'll link that down below in the video description i also showcase in that video how you can earn a 500k or 420 depending if you got a gold scarab or not from this boss without him fighting back you can basically cheese him but yeah if you've done that already guys you get a remembrance so that's what you want you want the remembrance the remembrance guys when you take it to two fingers at the round table and cash that bad boy in you're offered two things the thing you want to pick is this right here margarine's sacred spear then level it up there's no excuse not to be leveling weapons up guys uh, i've posted two guides on the smithing bow bearing and the somber smithing stone bow bearing uh, where you can buy unlimited uh, smithing stones so you can level up your weapons so yeah i'll link them down below as well just for the people out there that don't know about them so level up your weapons and you want to be using this you want to get this from the remembrance and use this right here in this spot now i will say again this isn't for the players out there that can already take these out with one swing of a sword this isn't for the players out there that ain't having issues here this is for the players that are having issues here because what this thing does is this and the air of effect on this thing is unbelievable it's unbelievable and now it won't take out the whole hill in one uh one attack but it'll take out half the hill and it makes it farm this area for players that couldn't do this before much more efficient now if you've got the gold uh scarab i do recommend you putting it on obviously uh, i've put a guide to this down below as well it's relatively quite easy to get if you've got any of the uh gold pickled foul foot get these as well i've also posted a guide on these um, and how you can craft them and get unlimited of them so with them two buffs you'll get about 50 55 percent extra runes per farming now with this weapon in hand guys you want to come down to the guy sitting here lean up against him and then just pop it press that left trigger and just hold it just press it and hold it and you'll take them out take them out then don't worry about if one attacks you just run back down try and dodge his attack it'll probably help then just do it here And there you go that's probably all you have to do i mean you can run down again and get a couple more at the bottom if you want to that's up to you i wouldn't say it's worth it but hey run back up to the grace come back down do it again do it again now this weapon scales with arcane um let me just double check uh, it's arcane oh, i'm looking at nothing there's nothing there i'm looking for you what's going on here strength uh, dexterity and arcane so you need 24 strength 14 in dexterity and 27 in arcane which is quite low stats to be honest for what players should be so again guys run down to the one here lean up against him you could probably actually go a bit further down try it from there 
and just take them out. And once you're already in the animation as well, it's hard to be hitting out of it. That's what I love about this. It's hard to be taken out of it. That's what I love about this, guys. Let me just run down to here. Right amongst these rocks. Do it again. Simple as that, really, guys. Run back up. It really is that easy. And like I said, this is a weapon you've probably been sitting on. You've probably got it already stashed away. If you've already cheesed Morg and got his remembrance, you've, you've got this there available for you to go and grab. So yeah, get it guys, level it up. If you need runes, this is perfect for you. Like I said, many, many players out there haven't got the Relic Sword, so they can't take out this entire hill with a single swing. Um, a lot of people are still coming here and the most efficient way for them to do it, to earn runes from this spot is to cheese that bird. This, to be honest, is much 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 more efficient there's no two which ways about it there's no two which ways about it. i don't know how many runes i've earned so far just messing about trying to do this but it's a good 300,000. easy guys an easy 300,000. now there's nothing else needed in regards to uh talismans i don't think i've got anything on that helps here really um not really i guess this one might but i've got a link to this in the video description too you can go and grab this relatively easy as well but yeah i mean there's nothing crazy if you got anything that boosts you don't even need anything that boosts fp you don't need anything that increases health it's not really necessary to be honest but hey to be honest i've, I've got them on because i was using my i was messing around i didn't even activate the grace i was messing around with a couple of bleed weapons and i was just checking out arcane weapons and i remember this because i cheesed morg ages ago and I always hold back on cashing those remembrances just in case someone figures out something sort of interesting. But this I remembered and it offered arcane and know with the the 1.0 patch. Uh, we know everything that scales with arcane now has been well fixed basically because arcane was was something wrong with it. I, can't, I don't know exactly. I weren't really looking into it to be honest. But arcane was a bit broken. Now things that scale now with arcane scale properly. And I remember this did it, so I thought you know I'm just gonna buy it and check it out. I'm just going to buy it and check it out. And guys, it hasn't let me down. But yeah, there we have it, guys. Go get this thing and try it out if it works for you. Happy days. If you're still a little bit of a low level to wield this and kill these enemies pretty quickly, then just hold out a bit. Farm as you're doing normally right now. And then just, guys, come back to this. Because, like I said, not everybody, you won't be able to. If you're new to the game, you ain't going to be able to. You ain't going to get the Relic Sword for a long, long time. So, yes. And there we have it, people. Uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave it a like. It really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more Elden Ring, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, people, I will see you on that next one.